Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Let's Study Together. But before I proceed, I would like to thank my audience for supporting me in my previous videos and they keep on motivating me to upload more videos. So today we are going to talk about the soil structure, which is a continuation from yesterday's lecture, whereby yesterday we talked about soil texture and we are still on the physical properties of soil. So let's quickly take a close look on soil structure. By the way, my name is McDonald Elisha Mtuma and we will be studying together the course Soil Science. Let's move on. Soil structure. A question might come saying define the term soil structure and today I'm willing to help you out of this question. Soil structure is the arrangement and organization of primary and secondary particles in a soil. I will repeat myself. Soil structure is the arrangement and organization of primary and secondary particles in a soil. When we talk about soil structure, it is categorized into three main groups. It is categorized into type, it is categorized into class, it is categorized into grade. When we talk about type, we are simply talking about this we are simply talking about the shape and arrangement of part, pattern of pets. So I will repeat again. When we talk about type, we are simply talking about the arrangement pattern of pets. And when we talk about class, we are simply talking about the size of pets. And when we talk about grade, we are simply talking about the degree of distinctness of pets. Let's quickly move on to types of soil structure. We have got different types of soil structure and today I'm going to talk about the different types of soil structure. We have got a plate like whereby the aggregates are arranged in horizontal plates or leaflets. We have the prism like whereby the vertical axis is more developed than horizontal giving a pillar shape length 1 to 10 cm commonly occurred in sub horizons of arid and semi arid regions we have got the block like structure whereby all the dimensions are of the same size all the dimensions will be of the same size the aggregates are reduced to blocks when the faces are flat and distinct and the edges are sharp angular, it is called an angular blocky. But when the faces and the edges are mainly rounded, it is called sub-angular blocky. Let's move on to another soil structure type. We have got this spheroid dial, whereby all rounded aggregates are placed under this category. If an aggregate is round in shape, it is classified under spheroidal soil structure. The aggregates of this group are usually termed as granular which are relatively less porous. When the granules are very porous, they are termed as a crumb. They form a crumb structure. 